Uh, shalom alaikum my friends. This is a video response to Jordan and Stick to Truth. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Yehoshua, saying unto them, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? Now, there is a critical error in this verse, and I hope that uh, you see it. If you don't, let me uh, uh, educate you. Uh, the in Leviticus 23, 4-5, it describes the Feast of Unleavened Bread beginning on the 14th day of the first month, the month of the Aviv. And the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And the Feast of Unleavened Bread are seven days. Uh, no, stick to truth, Passover is not an eight day feast. It is a one day feast. And it is apart and separate from uh, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. What you celebrate now is a rabbinical creation uh, created by Hillel II. It's an, a rabbinical takanot, a law that changes biblical law. That's what a takanot is. Um, what the Pharisees do, they keep the Passover, by the way, not even on the 14th day, but on the 15th day. And to make up for the 14th day, they add an 8th day, and they call the whole thing Passover. This is a violation of the Torah. The Torah specifically said that the Passover is on the 14th day of the first month, and that the Feast of Unleavened Bread begins on the 15th day of the same month. Now, back to our verse in Matthew. The apparent contradiction is this: the 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 fault, the uh, uh, problem in Matthew twenty six seventeen is that the disciples are a day late and a dollar short. They come to Rabbi Yehoshua a day after Passover to find out where to keep the Passover. This makes no sense. But the Greek word protos means foremost, before, beginning, former, first. Literally, the verses before the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the, the disciples, the Talmudim, the students, came to Rabbi Yehoshua to ask where to keep the Passover. This makes more sense. Now, because before the Feast of Unleavened Bread can be an, from anywhere from an entire week before it to a day before it. Now, when in Numbers 9, 5 through 6, it describes a second Passover. So stick to truth, you're not totally wrong. There is a second Passover. But, here's what Numbers describes. The Torah describes that the Passover is to be kept on the 14th day of the first month at even. Then those who couldn't uh, keep the Passover because they were on a journey far off um, or because they were defiled by reason of a dead body, that there's a second opportunity that they can keep, they can still keep uh, the feast of Passover. But that it's a second opportunity. It's not the original, but is still a makeup day. And this second Passover, in according to Numbers 9-11, is on the 14th day of the second month at even. They shall keep it and eat with it unleavened bread and bitter herbs. What this means is the second Passover and the first Passover are an entire month apart. Not uh, in the same week as you have it uh, being described as. Uh, with that being said, let's continue further. In Matthew 26, verses 26 to 29. And they were eating. Yehoshua took bread and blessed it. Barukatah Yehovah Eloheinu Malach HaOlam. Hamotzi Elechem Min HaAretz. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has brought forth bread from the earth. Um, so he took up, he took the bread, he blessed it, and he 
gave it to the disciples and commanded them to eat it. The word bread here is artos. Artos is leavened bread. It's eleven barley loaves. So Yehosha took eleven bread and he blessed it and gave it to his disciples. The problem with this, saying this is a Passover is this, that you don't eat eleven barley loaves at Passover. Passover, you are to keep, uh, you are to eat unleavened bread because the Passover meal is to be eaten after you kill the Passover lamb, which is killed on the even of the 14th day. So you have to eat the Passover meal between the 14th of Aviv and the 15th of Aviv. This is uh, very simple. Uh, even a first grader and a kindergartner can understand this. It's basic chronology. Uh, so he took the cup and he gave Thanks um, for it. Baruch Atah Yehovah Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pari HaGofin Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the Universe, who has um, created the fruit of the vine. And he gave this cup to his disciples. Um, also, Jordan, I might add, the Feast of Passover is a... Um, a preparation day for the next day for the Feast of Unleavened Bread because the next day, the 15th of Aviv, is a Shabbaton. It is a day that acts like a Sabbath. So, yes, it is proper for the New Testament to call Passover a um, preparation day. So, until next time, Shalom.